How is it growing? I'm not solarizing my beds this summer to kill the nematodes. I'm actually switching to the antithesis of that, and I'm excited to tell you all about it because today we're talking about cover crops to kill nematodes. I am in Davie, Florida, on my way to Tree Amigos Growers. I'm gonna be managing nematodes a very different way this summer that goes along with regenerative gardening. It's gonna be a very healthy way for the soil. In our regenerative gardens, we want plants to reach their genetic potential because when plants reach that genetic potential, they're able to fight off pests and disease. And a major key element to helping plants reach that level of health is having a soil that's rich in beneficial microbes. It's having a biocomplete soil food web that soil biologist Dr. Elaine Ingham talks about. This is part one in a three-part series. The second video, when I have it done, will be linked up here and also at the end of the video. Biodiversity is good, so I recommend planting at least three cover crops together. I planted these three, and these particular varieties specifically suppress nematodes. I'll cover these more specifically in part two. The third in this series will be about how to terminate these cover crops in a no-till garden and get it ready to plant for a fall and winter garden. This is a huge change in my summer garden. Huge! I'm not going to be solarizing my beds this summer like I normally do, and I have for nine years. Cover cropping is a technique used in one of the regenerative gardening principles, and that principle is to armor the soil. After planting, here's how I've been armoring the soil. I'm mimicking nature, protecting the soil until the cover crops come up and start filling in. I'm using moringa, pigeon pea, and katuk leaves, flowers, branches, little branches. Not only will this help protect from the direct sun, it will help feed the soil. And this will quickly become organic matter, mimicking nature. Like Cynthia says, what would a forest do? We want healthy communities of beneficial microbes in the soil. And to keep them healthy, we use various techniques to protect that soil from the penetrating harmful rays of the sun. Pretty ironic, right? That I've gone from soil solarization to the complete antithesis of that. On the package of all three of these, it recommends to broadcast the seeds, which I did without covering the seeds. And that worked great for this first bed and not the other two. Why? The first bed I planted had a great germination rate and survival rate during the first couple of weeks because I planted just before that big tropical storm passed by, dropping an enormous amount of rain. So the tip here, make sure that you water every day that you don't get a good soaking rain. Hey, if you got something out of this, please consider giving a thumbs up like on the video, subscribe to the channel, click on that bell so that you'll be notified when I upload videos in the future. And finally, live regeneratively and let's grow together.